What's up? It's three toe, and we are back here with eight attorney. Now, we talked to this dude. Heard what he had to say. So I think what we need to do is go back here and move maybe to the detention center. Is Edgeworth gonna be here? Look, Edgeworth is in questioning. Come back later. Guess so. All right. Criminal Affairs Department. What do we got? Hey there, pal. What's up? You look out of sorts. Wait, you didn't go and do something that's going to hurt Mr. Edward's case again, did you? What do you mean, again? Whatever. Have a seat, pal. I'm here for you if you need anything besides money, that is. You know, you know. It happens. It happens. The investigation. How's the investigation proceeding? It's not really. We have another meeting coming up. We're supposed to talk about Mr. Edgeworth's motive. His motive? The Mr. had the DL-60. Uh, the guy who got the lone suspect declared innocent was the victim in this case. Robert Hammond. They're saying that's why Mr. Edgeworth shot him. And Edgeworth never talks about his past. I bet they'll drag that out and hit him with it in court tomorrow, too. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. I gotta admit... Doesn't look good, pal. Say to Dr. Gumshoes, do you know Gordy? The monster? Not personally, no. Well, we're looking for it. Are you out of your minds? You gotta go wild monster? You got time to go wild monster hunting? How about a little question for me, then? Oh, Detective Gumshoes is scaring me, Nick. Told Detective Gumshoes about the deal with Lada. Nick, try telling them sooner next time. Oh, sorry. I see, pal. Sorry for shouting at you. Okay. I, Detective Gumshoes, will aid your search for Gordy. Huh? I'll loan you one of our newest secret weapons, weapons for finding evidence. Really? You can take whichever one you like. Oh, yeah. Give us the goods. Hold on now, every, everything in due time. First, let me show them to you. These are the best and brightest. Introducing your number one missile. <laughs> He's a K-9 police dog, still in training. Missile, missile, here, boy. Oh, cute. <laughs> He's cute. Oh, I want missile. There he is. Hey, <laughs> He's cute. Cute dog. This will help us out. Next, secret weapon two, a fishing pole. This is my own personal pole. Never going to use for a monster. Yeah. How are we supposed to catch a whole sea monster with a fishing pole? Never know it till you try, pal. Okay, this is the next one. This is the last one. Zero so weapon, a metal detector. Here. Never going to use for for something alive. Right. How are we supposed to find it with a metal detector? You never know. Might have been the soda cans. Well, what shall it be? Let me come up to Yeah. Okay. First off. Missile? Really cool dog. Really cool name. Really cute dog. Wow. Beautiful. Fishing pole. I've never gone. Well, I've only gone fishing like once. I didn't catch anything. So that's kind of out, out, out of the realm of possibilities. Metal detector. Now, metal detector. I like metal. You see the cool stuff they find on YouTube with the metal detector. So now it's really down. It's really just down to missile and metal detector. Now, hear me out. I might sound crazy, but I'm gonna go with the metal detector. We brought the metal detector. Sure thing, pal. I'm not sure what we're gonna find with this. I am. We're hunting for a monster. Anything is possible. Anything. Joy's Okay. All right. We're on our way out, sir. Thank you. Move. To the public beach. Wow, Lake Gordy's River. Say, Nick, why is it called Gordy Lake? A long time ago. Okay. Whatever. Okay. Move. We need stuff like beach with sand. So, 
It's always so quiet here. I wonder if the boat shop is closed for good. Both the murder and the lake and all. They're probably just taking a vacation till it blows over. Oh, here we go. It's drugs. No, I actually found something. Sure is loud enough about it. Go check it out. What do I have to check it out? Nick, look. Air tank? The valve looks broken. I thought it was Gordy. First of all. Why would Gordy be in the bushes? Why would the metal detector act with Sea Monster? This has to, this is about the compressor, ain't it? Like a string of flags. Heavy. Okay. Bud. Bud. You have to, Bud. What are you doing to me? What, an air tank? What about it? Larry, I wanted to ask you about this tank. Is it yours? Why would I have a thing like that? You see how there's a string of flags around this tank valve? It's just like a string of flags you have around your steel samurai there. Must be a coincidence. There are strings of flags everywhere these days. Well, like elementary schools and you use, use car dealerships. Look, why do you think anyway? To inflate something. Use this to inflate that, didn't you? I inflate what? What else? That big puffy steel samurai. Now, why would you go ask me a question like that? Looks like I hit the nail on the head. Right, right. Actually, the compressor I always used was on the fritz, so I tried using this tank to inflate it just once. It didn't go so well. It didn't go so well? Yeah, do you think you'd be a little more specific? Come on. Look, it's a tell us, tell us. Fine, whatever. It's like, what I said, the compressor was busted, so I took the tank and tried to fill a samurai with that, and then blam! Valve busted open and made an incredible noise, and the tank took off like a rocket. I poured a flay still samurai with it. Of into Gord Lake? Sure scared me out of my gourd, that's for sure. Alright. Flying air tank. So the tank is just samurai you were trying to fill flew away. What happened next? Well, it happened on the 20th or so, a week ago. I went out every night the boat looking for it. I mean, Keon said gave me the steel samurai and all. Oh, and did you find it? Just the night before last. Boy, it took me four days to find it. The night before last was the night of the murder. Sorry for not telling you, Nick. Actually, I was here on the night of the murder. You see, I went home before midnight. So, do you know about what happened? Nope. That's too bad. Not all bad. Saw one mystery, at least. Mmm, Gordy. Gordy was the Steel Samurai. Or the Steel Samurai is Gordy. It's perfect. Ah, crisp as a fucking biscuit. Wait, our biscuits, oh, no, you know, oh, maybe some. Anyway. Hey, y'all. Well, did you find anything about Gordy? No, nothing. It is a little chilly. I, I think I have to sneeze. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Oh. <laughs> I told y'all no sneezing. Yeah, I set the can camera to respond to things a little softer than a bang. I'd trigger it in one of Von Karma's finger snaps now. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, sorry is not nice what I film. Nick, pay the lady. Well, Mr. Lawyer, I got all the information y'all need. Bada, there's no such thing as Gordy. How can I be so sure? Really, Nick? Y'all got some proof? Was here. Of course, I have proof. Um, the proof Cordy doesn't exist is this. Larry's air tank. What are y'all doing with an air tank? 
This, this is Gordy. Excuse me? What exactly are you saying, Nick? There's a stand near here, hot dog stand. There's a giant inflatable samurai doll there. About a week ago, an idiot who happened to be a friend of mine tried to fill it. He used the air tank, and when the valve blew, the tank flew into the lake. Apparently made a pretty loud bang when it flew. A bang? The tank along with the still deflated samurai fell into the lake. At the same time? Tank was... The couple was taking a photograph of the lake. It's photo. So you're saying that Gordy... Is really the still samurai? Well, that's a fine way to ruin a gal's dream. Sorry, Lada. Nah, it's okay, you win. Oh no, god damn it. I'll give you your info like I promised. Poor Lada. What happened? I learned something in today's trial, that's for sure. Testify in a serious business. So I decided not to talk about the case anymore. Didn't you say you had information about the case? Tell us at least. Like I said, I'll trade it for the dirt on Gordy. So tell us this information you have. Promise is a promise, I guess. I read the cops are saying something about the witness tomorrow. They say he's the caretaker of the boats. Boat rental? There's someone there, I mean, it looks so deserted. An old guy living all by himself. Y'all should go check it out. Thanks, love, Will. Get cracking, Nick. Hold on, something else? Yeah, deny the murder. My camera clicked twice, you know. So you have another photo? Well, yeah, but it's nothing, it's just all just a lake. It there won't be much as evidence, so I just kept it myself. Well, it might not be helpful at all, but you're taking it. Bye now, y'all take care. Time for me to pack up and leave. Poor Lada. Oh, Larry's fault. The legend still lives on, I guess. The legend? The legend of Larry. Familiar to all who know him for any length of time. When something smells, usually the butt. <laughs> oh, that made me not feel as bad for ruining Lada's dreams. Something smells like butts here. Someone should whip that butts into shape. All right. Well, let's go see the bow rental shop. Hey, Nick, this is the bow shop that a lot of us talking about. You're right. Doesn't seem anyone to be all around. Well, let's check it out anyway. Small borrow shop. Doesn't look like anyone was around. They're probably closed up because of the murder. There's some both the murder took place in both of the dock. Okay, okay. More forest to tell if any helpful clues there. Well, what am I checking out here then? Okay. Caretaker Shack. Okay. Hey, are you? Hey, is that Keith with you? Where have you been? I've been worried sick. Nick, you handle this. I think I'll leave this one up to you, my man. Nick? Yes. Finally made up your mind, have you? My mind? You'll run the pasta shop when I'm gone. Pasta? Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. You make your old man proud. When you kids left the house, didn't know what to think. How am I supposed to keep this place running? An old man like me. Oh, the kids are home. Hello, hello. <coughs> Nick, what was that? Parrot, the one on that perch. Keith, yes? I'll leave you the wet noodle in your capable hand, Sonny. What is the wet noodle? Based on the bubble, I'm gonna say it's the name of his pasta shop. That's really fizzing it, Polly. Hello, hello. <laughs> uh, yep. I fell asleep. Oh, this is a boat rental shop, right? What are you talking about? This here's the place, Palace of Pasta, the wet noodle. 
And I imagine it, we haven't got many orders for spaghetti lately. All the kids come up and say, Yo, dude, we want to ride in one of your boats. So I keep them boats out there. Youngsters these days, darned if I understand them. Pretty confused myself. This isn't going anywhere. Got to find some way of getting information out of him. Pasta shop. Uh, yep. To think the wet noodle will live on when I'm gone. My father started, you know. So makes you two the third generation. Meg, yes. Well, we'll start with the secret of Dotasin. You too, Keith. You'll be the uh, pasta wrangler of the West. Isn't pasta from Italy? Meg, yes. You know the best pasta has always been men made west of the Rockies, didn't you? Right, of course, everyone knows this. I've been to the Rockies, and there's not a lot of pasta there. We're not leaving until we find out what's this. Salmon? Wow, what an amazing paradise. Good morning. Hello. You ignored me. Well, you've got Meg, you gotta call her name first. Oh, yeah, how you been? Hello, hello, squat! See? Your person is Polly. Parrot added K. Too bad all she can say is hello. Or her. Polly can say a lot of things. You just gotta know the secret words. Secret words? Polly, what's your name? Polly, squat! <laughs> Cute! Let's find a new friend. Okay. This is, looks like a kitchen unit. It's pretty clean. Funny he doesn't look like the type to keep things tidy like that. Okay, Nick. He's in a pasta shop here. He has an electric blanket on his table. It looks warm. Good idea. Why should you do that at the office? Sit down with the client snug and warm and drink a hot cocoa. All the talk about murders? Oh, you're a party pooper, Nick. So this pool looks expensive. Wow, he has a television in here too. And a trash can. Well, there are lots of very fish in Gore Lake, aren't there? Something's funny, Nick. All these fish are seawater or saltwater fish. All right. My well, memory's gotten worse as of late. That's why I just tell everything important to old Polly here. Everything important? I wonder. Polly, what's the number to the safe? One, two, two, eight. Squad. All right. Hey, Polly, watch it, will ya? See, hey, Nick? All it takes is a little clever thinking. And a criminal mind. We're gonna credit that number down. Hey, don't get me involved in one of your little heist schemes. Okay. Okay. Right, let's go to the detention center. Unless we're still missing something. Maybe not. You have to go choose here. Do you see any mean to go to? Let's try. Let's come back later. Well, with that, we'll end off this episode here. That's a good one. We kind of broke Lada's heart, though. So that's, you know, whatever. But we did get a safe code. That means we make a lot of money. A lot of money. Anyway, thank you guys all so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.